again, ladies. Today I want to talk to you about petroleum. Dun dun dun. It is an oil, a crude oil, that people said, uh, try to avoid with natural hair. But I'm here to tell you today that petroleum has its place with natural hair. You just have to know how to use it properly. Rule number one with petroleum, you should never, ever, 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 ever put it on your scalp, okay? Because what it's going to do is it's going to block the hair follicle and maybe some hair could get through, but because the hair has to struggle to get through, it may not come through properly so then what you're doing is you're actually promoting uh, broken hair as it grows so it won't grow in healthy so just don't put it on your scalp because it's just not good for it what it is good for is blocking out moisture this is probably the best oil that you'll use to block out moisture why would you want to block out moisture? Our hair loves moisture, it soaks it up. Well, if you have a roller set, you're trying to protect it, you have to go to a wedding, you have a big presentation at work, you're going to the beach and you want to keep your roller set looking fly and tight, it's all about the petroleum. What this is going to do is prevent moisture from ruining your roller set. How do you use it to keep it from ruining your roller set? I have a roller set. So what I want to do is I want to use a little bit of petroleum on my finger here. And when I first pick out my curls, I take, let me find one, because my hair's already picked out. Um, and I want to coat the curl with the petroleum and make sure that as I'm doing that, I kind of twist it, coat, twist, coat, twist, go right along with the curl. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that when the wind blows and it's raining when the wind blows at the beach or you're walking from the car to the you know wherever the wedding is being held and you worked hard to use the lot of body to roller set your hair if you don't use petroleum and use another oil it could it can't survive Petroleum is going to make sure that as soon as you walk out the door, the wind blows or it gets wet, that it's instantly not going to revert to afro. If you're going for an afro, awesome. Rock your afro as best you know how. If you're trying to protect the roller set like I have today, you can use petroleum on the ends to protect the curl. Not a problem. Just make sure that you're not using it all the time every day and that you're um, using another oil kind of to supplement it after maybe a couple days because petroleum it keeps the moisture from coming into your hair which is great for protecting the roller set the problem is that our hair naturally to stay healthy and supple needs moisture in the air okay so that's why a lot of naturals don't tend to use it because they want that moisture in their hair to keep their hair healthy okay so what I do is again Coconut oil, can't stress it enough. I use a lot of coconut oil. After I have protected my roller set, and sometimes, to be honest, I will actually mix a little bit of coconut oil with a little bit of petroleum. And when I do that, I tend to use less petroleum. And then I, you know, kind of protect my hair in that way. But yeah, it's, it's, it has its place, definitely. Don't put it on your scalp. Don't drench your hair in petroleum. Not a good idea. I would only use it to protect whatever type of setting set you have. You want to protect your braid out, your bantu knots, your roller sets. Use petroleum. Use it sparingly and use it smart. Bye.